Sometimes, the stark contrast between what we perceive as paradise and what we as humans are also contributing to destroy it is startling. On the one hand, being in nature or even viewing scenes of nature reduces our stress, increases pleasant feelings, and contributes to our physical well-being as humans. On the other hand, we, as the dominant species, have a direct effect on the landscape around us. With the building of roads and structures, we are increasing pollution, the fragmentation of habitat, and the disruption of migration for other species. Man's relation with nature and the environment is a complex one to be sure, but the ironic imbalance between what we take and what we give back is not lost on me, even in a place as proactive as Costa Rica. Government here has taken a stand to abstain from the unwarranted destruction of natural and cultural resources, and they have emerged as a leader in sustainable tourism. Everywhere you look, there are good people doing what they can to give back to their non-human neighbors, making the environment a better one for everyone included. Hey, what's going on? Hanging out here at the Jaguar Rescue Center with some baby monkeys. Today we're going to learn all about them with my friend Celia. And uh, we're going to, well, it's too much cuteness for me to even get any more words out. So we'll see you on the other end. A good portion of my life has been all about action, which still holds true. But now I pour all that time and energy into wildlife conservation, education, and the pursuit of knowledge. This is Camp Kenner. So when you come to Costa Rica, I mean, I know for me, the, one of the first things I wanted to see were monkeys. And I had been here, this is now my third time, and I still love seeing these guys play. Now these are baby howler monkeys, and you can just see, you know, primates are so intelligent, and you know they're intelligent just by the way these animals are moving about and exploring and playing. So tell me, what are you doing? Uh, why are these animals here in the first place? And uh, what do you plan on doing with these monkeys? Well, these monkeys that we are seeing here, this is uh, Pachi, that one is Charlie. These are two baby howler monkeys. They are three months and a half or so on average. And these are not the only monkeys, obviously, that we have here in the rescue center. On average, our monkeys are two years old. A lot of them arrive, unfortunately, confiscated as pets. And babies like Charlie and Pachi arrive, obviously, as baby orphans. Oh, he look, he's very, yeah. very cool. curious about. Obviously, of all of our monkeys, we are going, are going to be reintroduced. So we have this uh, successful technique designed by one of the founders of the rescue center. She's a primatologist. And basically, oh, it's nice. It's a seal. That is why he's very into it. Oh, wow. uh, we basically take our monkeys to the forest. That is how we reintroduce them. We reintroduce 25 monkeys since we started. Uh, so it's a very successful program. Wow, that's incredible. And it's funny, you mentioned some. These are three month old babies. So think about that if you're a human being. A three month old baby is completely helpless. These animals are exploring, they're playing, they're learning, they're, they're bothering. Uh, Celia's necklace, but you know, they still have a little bit of clumsiness to them. You know, they aren't quite the uh, agile howlers like the adults that we've seen. Um, so, what, you know, the challenges for monkeys here in Costa Rica with the expansion of tourism and maybe, you know, habitat loss. Yes. I know Costa Rica is very conscientious uh, about their their natural resources, and these fit into that uh, conservation yeah. plan. But what are some of the, uh, this is great, uh, it's actually gonna become a filmmaker, I think. It's found Tom's uh, <laughs> strap on his camera. So this is really cool. I mean, this is definitely one of my more favorite uh, animals to interact with because they are so curious. But Siri, what are you seeing with, um, you know, some of the dangers that the monkeys are facing? And, you know, I, I like when you tell us, you know, what exactly is happening? Why are they coming into the center? Besides being confiscated pets, like you see other problems as well, don't you? Yes, uh, some monkeys are abandoned by the mothers, kind of for the same reasons as the baby is not. Baby monkeys are going to live uh, in the mother's chest and they're going to grow in the mother's back. 
if the baby monkey is not strong enough, to it's going on. to fail. Yeah, to hold on, it's going to fail. Uh, weak animals, unfortunately, they don't survive, so for that reason, uh, mothers abandon. But I think the main cause uh, of monkeys in the rescue center are definitely uh, confiscated as pets. That wow. is the main problem that we have. Uh, loss of habitat, obviously, is a big issue that not only affects monkeys, obviously, this affects all kinds of animals. But in the case of howler monkeys, howler is not an endangered species. Uh, they are very successful, actually, so they are very well. They're doing good. They but we do have good. another baby over here. Look at this. So this is another one of the species. And you guys have four species of monkey here in Costa Rica. Is that correct? There's that is correct. Capuchin. Let me see if I can name him. I want right. to seem smart. It's not often. But uh, Capuchin, who we're looking at, the howler, the uh, spider monkey, and there's one more I don't know. The squirrel monkey. The squirrel monkey. The squirrel monkey that lives in the Pacific. So here okay. in the Caribbean side, we only have capuchins, howlers, and, and the spider monkey. Okay. So these guys, I've been told, can be a little mischievous. And he's already sticking his tongue out at me. Look. Yes. He's looking at me like, yo, dude. Rono is so cute. Rono is only five weeks old. Oh my god. Very, very young. Arrived uh, arrive as, as a newborn. It was brought by the authorities of the government of Costa Rica, actually the Sinac and Minai. They bring a lot of the animals that we have in here. So this is not the only capuchin that we have. Definitely is the youngest monkey and he has the pretty sad face. <laughs> we are all very in love of the of Rolo. And so now when you guys, you socialize with these monkeys because yes. they are animals that are social exactly. and they rely on each other for survival. So when you, you kind of bring them out to the forest, as you've mentioned before, to kind of get them used to being released. You told me a story. Um, who was the monkey that hugged the, the person? Goldfinger was a spider monkey. He lived here for a couple of years. He also arrived as a baby. And he was just reintroduced. Hi. He was just reintroduced last Wednesday. We were really happy. And we have a monkey man. He is the alpha leader of this mixed group of primates. Yeah. We are all primates. Uh, so after Jackie leaves and get into the forest, he just came down to Declan. He just hugged him very, very hard, strong for a long time. And then he just climbed uh, to the canopy of the trees and he was mm. officially reintroduced. That's that incredible, monkey. but that's an amazing story. So there is some, there are bonds here. And you know, if you love animals, as we all do, you know that, you know, if you spend a lot of time with these animals, you can sense more than just that they are animals. There's there's thought behind their yes. eyes, and there's love. I believe there's love, you know, between us. So that's really fantastic. I love it. Great story. Uh, fantastic facility. If you guys ever make it down here uh, to Costa Rica, you want to check out the Jaguar Rescue Center. They do incredible work, and um, they've been really generous to us as well. So I want to thank you for spending your, your day with me. Uh, we're going to sign off now. There'll be more videos to come, so you know when to watch them Sundays. Tuesdays, I'm almost forgetting, and we go live on Thursdays. Thank you so much. Thank well, you for out. coming. Oh, my pleasure.